Today on the channel, we got a double dose of Adam West, Batman, McFarlane Toys, Regular, and Platinum. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for a fun one today they're all fun in their own way but this one may be a little funner than some of the others as today we got adam west times two in the adam west batman from mcfarland toys dc multiverse and of course for all your dc multiverse needs and a whole lot more djc collectibles use discount code adolf djc to save eight percent off your entire order gotta get the deal out there and i did order these from djc these are currently showing up at walmart stores in some areas so be on the lookout because you need adam west in your collection there's no doubt about it and there's no doubt how we're going to do this review we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there you know how we do it over here we're going to start with the regular edition work our way into the platinum edition and i've said it many times on this channel and my other youtube channel that i first came into batman via the adam west batman series i was just a little boy in the 60s or maybe i was in the 80s watching reruns one or the other it always gets confusing but uh 80s reruns watching batman watching robin watch those adventures that was my first uh takeaway for batman where a lot of kids that were maybe a little bit younger than me maybe it was the 89 batman movie maybe it was the batman animated series whatever it may be we all come into different fandoms different places I came into the Adam West Batman, so when I close my eyes late at night, I think of the Kenner Superpowers, my first toy line I collected for action figure superheroes, and I think of this TV series. So that's what I think of with Batman, where somebody might think Michael Keaton, it is what it is, but this has always held a special place in my heart, always reminds me of childhood summers, watching TV, things like that. I think it was on FX back in the day, if I'm not mistaken, when that first launched that network. So a lot of fun stuff and very happy to get this toy line here. Of course, we've been unboxing a lot of the Batman uh, Adam West action figures from McFarland Toys in the smaller scale the last couple of years. And if I knew they were going to do this in this scale, I wouldn't have picked up that scale. So Todd, you win again from the couch. Always a businessman. Always trying to get one over on your old buddy Kyle over here at the table. Uh, that's the way it goes. But as of right now, we don't know if there's going to be any other action figures in this line is this just a one-off thing i guess we'll wait and see on that one there but man very cool to get these but it really makes me feel like give me robin give me the joker give me penguin the list goes on and on and on it would be a very very fun line in this scale not sure what i would do with the old scale figure that we we're currently collecting but we'll figure it out we'll sort it out when the time does come but let's dive in to old adam west batman look at that looking very cool right here Batman classic TV series looking very nice classic Batman logo there DC multiverse uh, you got a little bit of accessories in there of course you got the card back there Batman classic TV series over here and then on this side you got a little jibber little jabber little QR code and then on the back there he is old Adam West looking only like an Adam West Batman could look does say Batman classic TV series and I have seen these out in the field the field out in the Walmart stores and now that I'm looking at this, so I got this from DJC Collectibles up there in Canada. This seems to be the Canadian edition right here because I saw the ones uh, at retail in Walmart and they have like a Batman cowl giveaway. There's a giveaway kind of card back in there where you can enter to win. That is not a part of these Canadian editions. So that's a little bit disappointing. I would have liked to at least throw my hat in to get one of those cowls of this. Doesn't look to be the case right here though. So uh, take that for what it is. I guess if you're international, Canada, it doesn't feel international, but I guess you're not going to have that in here. So that, that's a bit of a bummer, but I guess it is what it is. 12 and up on this one too, Mark Summers. Thank you for asking. Got to keep those kids safe. We know how that goes. There it is. Packaging. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's get down this card. Let's get down to, oh, rookie move. Rookie taking over here today. Oh, oh, that's so disappointing. I'm just, I'm new. I'm new. Remember the first time I unboxed a McFarlane figure? See you later. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. DC Collector Stan. Seen it before. We'll see it again. But I really wanted to get this card out. I want to see what all the fuss is about. What's it say here? 
What does it say? Can I get the card out without destroying the card? That's always uh, the hard part, of course. There we go. Okay, I'm getting there. Like a true professional. See you later. Goodbye. See what it says about Adam West. Real name Bruce Wayne. Kapow! The debonair millionaire Bruce Wayne may seem like your average cool cat, but you would be wrong. With the flip of a Shakespeare head bust into the Batcave, Gotham City is filled with a rogues gallery of criminals eager to unmask the Batman, but they are thwarted by the Cape Crusader's own clever ways. Shout out to Adam West. Of course, passed away since. There he is, Adam West, looking only like an Adam West could look in McFarlane toy line. Very cool to get this era of Batman. Very excited, like I said. Hopefully we do continue on uh, with uh, the Riddler and everybody else. I would love to see that kind of stuff uh, in the near future. We'll see what happens, though. We'll stay tuned. We'll stay tuned. Did I get everything? I think I might have. Oh, look at that. Right out of the package. But, of course, the Cambodian tape does loom. It is here, of course. There we go. And we got some hands. Oh, my gosh. Extra hands is great for this one, so you can display it differently than, the, of course, the Platinum Edition. And we'll unbox the Platinum Edition very, very soon here if I never get through the tape on this one, of course. And there it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's get down to business. Batman business, of course. Some of the sketchiest business you'll ever be a part of, of course, as well. Got a big old Batarang going on right here in nice blue color here, of course. Got to have that for Batman. Got a little Batman communicator right here. Very cool. Very old-timey. Before cell phones were a thing, Batman was already ahead of the game on that one. Looking very good. And now we get down to hands. Two gripping hands. No punches and bunches here. No kapow going on with Batman. What are we doing? But we can do the Batusi. He's got the two fingers going on, so you can do a little of that. A little bit of uh, Adam West Batman dance party. And then we do got some fingers here. A little trigger finger and a, a pointer finger. So choose your own hand adventure for Batman for any McFarlane toys most of the time. But now we're diving into old Adam West Batman very cool, very nostalgic. That's what this is. And I could see people that don't collect McFarlane toys but are just Batman fans picking this one up. They want representation of the old school series, and it looks very, very nice. Definitely looks like Adam West. Somebody hands me this. I know this is Adam West Batman, especially with that cowl, the shorter ears on it. Looking very, very nice, though. I do like that. Of course, down to the gray suit with the blue accents on the forearms, the tights, and then on the boots. Just classic, classic Batman here. And then he's got that Batman utility belt all there in yellow, looking very nice as well. And then the very little yellow and black Batman logo right there in the chest to set it all off. Got the little guards there on the forearm. Always love those, of course. And then you get this soft goods wired cape. You know me. I'm a sucker for a wired cape. And we get that here with Adam West Batman. Feels a little bit shiny, a little bit glossy, but it does have wire in it so you can move and mix it and match definitely prefer this over the old school plastic ones that were just kind of there always in the way this feels really really nice and we've seen a lot of these as of late from mcfarland of course arms go all the way around for us do get a bicep cut double jointed pinned elbows on this one hands removable back and forth side to side head back and forth side to side of course hula hoop at the top a little bit of movement out of that traditional waist not much big old adam west splits legs do go up a little bit a little bit there we go Double jointed pin to knees, and then you get the ankle boot cut up and down side to side, and then of course the toe articulation we get with McFarlane toys. Looking very, very nice. Definitely one of my favorite figures McFarlane has released this year, just because it hits the nostalgia. It hits the nostalgia button on me, no doubt about it. Would be a shame if this is where they ended it at. Would love to at least see Robin, so I can just have Batman and Robin on the shelf. Uh, but if they're going to do Robin, I'm sure they're going to do Penguin. They're going to do Riddler. Maybe we'll get a King Tut. Get me all the characters. Get me all the characters. And you have to imagine they've already made them in the other scale, which, of course, I have right here. So you would think if they could make them in that scale, they could make them in this one if they wanted to. You would assume that would be the case. But now we got two versions of Adam West, Batman from McFarlane. Really three, I guess. But uh, looking very interesting, the scale differences here. And like I said, if this line came out first, I wouldn't even have bothered with this line. But now we're so deep into this one. It's just the way it goes. And I think uh, McFarlane's probably like, we're running out of steam in the little figures. Let's move it to the big figures. Let's start it all over again. And there's Todd over there. He's counting his money out of his wallet. I figured, Todd, you'd be more of like a, have money in a bank like a PayPal or, or Zelle or something like that. You're doing some of that kind of stuff. Uh, but no, you got straight cash, just a wallet full of cash. It's a wild, wild look over there. He's really keeping it back in the 60s from the animated series. But man, oh man, a great figure, a fun figure, a must-have for me, possibly for you.
But now the Platinum Edition, possibly not a must-have for everybody. I can see some people saying, I got this one, don't really need this one. But this is the black and white version here. Always looks a little strange to me because I think of this series in color. Yes, some people didn't have black and white TVs, but I think by the time the 60s rolled around, most people had seen the colored version by then. But this is the Platinum, an easy repaint, of course. Got to keep it easy, right, Todd? Uh, platinum Edition right there. Batman, DC, Multiverse. Nice big bubble window. 12 and up, once again, Todd and Mark. I guess more Mark than Todd. Uh, Mark is the one that can really do some damage. Todd kind of cowers in the corner, as we know. 22 points of articulation. Batman Classic TV Series. Classic logo at the top. DC Multiverse Batman QR code if you need it. Once again, no contest over here. That kind of bums me out. Uh, and then there he is once again, same back of the package there. So a lot of we've been here before, as you can imagine, with this one. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. I'm not even going to read these. Same card, same jibber-jabber on the back of the card, of course. Definitely looks a little different, though, with the color changes. I think I might like what I see on this a little bit in part. But I still think if I had to choose between both of these here, I'm going color version all day long. That's what I know about. That's, that's where it all started for me, of course. And many others. Many others. So there it is. It's funny how those TV series, uh, it brings back fond memories. And speaking of FX TV series, where I first saw ba Batman, uh, the TV show back in the day on reruns, uh, I saw another show back then I used to love. In those summer days, uh, staying home from school, you know, you watched a lot of TV. You watched a lot of uh, TV shows, things, reruns. I was all big on reruns. Where I know a lot of kids were in, like, watching movies and stuff. I was never really a movie guy, as you guys know. See you later. Goodbye. Uh, but I watched a lot of reruns, and I've seen about every single classic TV show from like the 50s, 60s, 70s. I think I've seen every single episode of about every single one. And one series, I saw all episodes. There was five seasons, and it was a show called Family Affair with Mr. French, Buffy, Jody, uh, Uncle Bill, Sissy, oh, all the greats. And I haven't thought about that series in like 15 years. And then the other day, I turned on... Right, I shouldn't say other day, literally like an hour ago. Yes, an hour ago, right before this, I was watching a, a hip episode of Family Affair. And uh, Buffy and Jody, they were cleaning up uh, like a dilapidated like lot and turning it into a kid's park. And the city hall had to get involved and Uncle Bill swooped in. It was a wild ride of emotions, of course, as those series were back there in the 60s and early 70s. Uh, but Family Affair, a classic. A classic series that I've all forgotten about. Uh, I watched every episode of that one, and then I watched this one episode. Now I'm like, do I need to start Family Affair all over again? Forget the Back to the Futures of the World. Forget any Tom Cruise movie and many other movies I've never seen. Maybe I should rewatch The Family Affair and see what Mr. French is up to once again many years later. See how it holds up. Who knows? I'm a wild guy. You never know. It might happen. It might happen. But we get some of the same stuff we got over here. However, in a plot twist, black. It's all black. Black and white, of course. Batarang in black this time instead of blue. Communicator in all black once again. Hands all black instead of blue. Same exact hands that we got with the last one. And then we get down to the figure itself, and it's all black. It's a grayish black. Black and white. Black and white. Sure, why not? Adam West all day. Almost looks like a sickly version of Adam West. It's kind of what it looks like here. But definitely interesting in black, of course, when I'm so used to thinking of this in this color. It does look a little bit bizarro, a little bit different. And what? Oh, Todd McFarlane says, Kyle, just wait. Oh, oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Well, Todd, you're hearing it. We're breaking news. Breaking news. I get the scoop here. Todd says we're coming out with an Amazon exclusive glow in the dark. They're also going to come out with a Frostbite edition at GameStop. A patina one, a McFarland store exclusive patina. Okay. And what? Books a million getting their first exclusive? Adam West, you're kidding me. They're going to do a sketch edition at Books a Million. I can't believe you're doing all these kind of things. And a straight up translucent one for Best Buy? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. You Batman fans, you're in for it with old Todd from the couch and some of these repaints. Be there or be square. That's what they said. So there it is. But Batman looking very good. Don't need to walk through the articulation. Don't really need to walk through this one at all. Same exact thing. I do like the black cape on this one. Looking very nice. Looking like some of the other Batman figures we've unboxed on the channel fairly recently. But looking good for what it is, it's nice to have just with this one here. But if you're only picking one, you got to get this classic one here. Because, I, well, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I may be right. You never know. Uh, but if they do release Batman, Robin, or they release Batman, if they release Robin, Penguin, Riddler, and so on, are they going to do black and white versions of every single one? Don't get any ideas, Todd. We don't need platinum black and whites of the whole line. 
Uh, it'll be interesting to see where that ends up going in the future. I don't know. Fingers crossed, but it sounds like uh, a lot going on with the old Batman series from back in the day. Adam West is smiling from his grave. That's what he's doing right now. So there it is. Little Batman, a little trip down memory lane, a little nostalgia action right now with old Batman times two regular and platinum edition. What's your thoughts on these two Batmans? You all in, you all out, you getting one, you getting both. What was your first Batman? I'd be interested to hear when you close your eyes late at night, what Batman do you think of? Is it the Kenner superpowers? Is it this Batman? Batman animated series, one of the Batman movies, one of the years of Batman comic books. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you made it this far, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you. Yes, it's true. Even more over on Patreon, including early access to all the videos here on the channel. Check out the Patreon, of course. You can also support the channel at ProSTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget the social media. Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for Batman Times 2, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.